Hey everyone, this is Stephen Hall with 9to5Google and today we have something very, very special for you. I'll just cut to the chase. This is a prototype Google Pixelbook Go and we have all the details on the hardware right here. Thanks for watching 9to5Google on YouTube. Be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and click that bell icon to make sure that you get all the latest videos from us. The first thing you'll notice about the Google Pixelbook Go is the back. So the very front is a, the top I guess, is a very subdued not pink, very similar to the not pink of the Google Pixel 3 and 3XL that we saw last year. Um, but the back is a coral-like texture and, and color, which is very similar actually to the Oso oh Orange Google Pixel 4. That if you've been following Google Pixel 4 leaks, you know that that model is coming this year. Um, so this is kind of a mashup between the two different pink and orange, I guess, colors of the Pixel 3 and 4. Um, as you can see on the back, this is a very textured, grooved uh, back, which is very unique. It's a unique aesthetic that I've never really seen on any other laptop, but um, it looks like uh, it should be really nice. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't really detract from the experience at all. I actually really prefer it. It feels really good. And on the top, you have a texture that is very similar to the Google Pixel 3 and maybe maybe two, uh, the, the uh, I guess, etched uh, soft touch glass back of the Pixel 3 comes to mind when I touch this. Um, also, the coated um, metal of the Google Pixel 2 comes to mind a little bit. It's probably a little bit softer than that, um, but that's the texture here. Also, the logo. This is clearly a prototype. As you can see, this is going to be a G logo when Google announces this laptop next week, so don't worry about that. And on the sides, we have exactly what you'd expect, which are uh, a USB-C port and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as well as an LED to give you updates on the status uh, for charging. Um, very similar to the original Pixelbook, and we have the exact same thing on the right side with this, um, if I can get the camera to focus, this uh, USB-C port and another LED. Um, and so that's the sides. On the front, we have a cutout that will look very familiar to you if you are a MacBook Pro user or MacBook user in general. Um, it is very similar to that kind of cutout for opening the lid. And opening the lid is very easy. It's very similar to the MacBook Pro in that it is well balanced, so it's pretty um, effortless to open up. As we've got it opened up now, let's take a quick look at the top. As you can see up here, we have the, uh, I guess, two, mega, two megapixel um, front-facing camera that we reported on uh, last month. We also have the two front-firing, uh, I guess, the, the two front-facing uh, microphones, far-field microphones for picking up your voice for Google Assistant um, and things like that. And there's also, more importantly, two very powerful front-firing speakers. We actually did a comparison between these and the MacBook Pro um, 2016 model, so check that out real quick. The most important aspect of the inside of the laptop, of course, is the keyboard and I guess the trackpad as well. The trackpad feels very nice. It's kind of a diving board, so the bottom is extremely clicky and extremely responsive, whereas the top is still clickable, but not as responsive as the bottom, so it's a traditional trackpad. Um, but it is pretty responsive and I haven't had any really problems with it when I've been testing it in the last um, few hours. Also, this keyboard is very familiar if you have used the original Pixelbook. It is pretty much identical. I don't think Google has changed much, if anything. Um, it feels very similar. Um, it's very responsive. I think it's a scissor switch, and you likely won't have any of the annoying MacBook, uh, MacBook issues of getting dust stuck in there and just having to uh, repair your keyboard over a tiny grain of sand. Um, this keyboard is very easy, very comfortable to type on, and it uh, seems a little bit more, I guess, durable. Uh, than others that you've seen. And finally, just taking a quick look at the operating system itself, this is uh, just a very basic stable build of Chrome OS, so there's nothing really to see here. We only have access to the guest account right now, so we can't really install apps, we can't really do anything at all, um, but it is functional. This is the Pixelbook Go. Um, and as you can see, the uh, front of the product has an insignia right here. It's very similar to the insignia you may be used to seeing on MacBooks right below the display. This one is right above the keyboard and it says product name. Um, the product name in this case is Pixelbook Go. We've reported that. We reported that last month. Um, so expect that. And the Pixelbook Go is not the only device Google will announce at its 1015 event in New York City next month. 
We're also expecting the company to show off the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL, of course, the second generation of its Nest Mini Smart Speaker, a new Nest Wi-Fi, and second gen Pixel Buds as well. So be sure to subscribe here on YouTube for all the latest details and scoops on things all, all things related to Google. And be sure to follow us over at 9to5google.com for all the latest as the event uh, approaches coming next Tuesday. Uh, so thanks for watching. This has been Stephen Hall with 9to5google with the prototype Google Pixelbook Go, and we'll see you next time.